Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can transform your brain using inexpensive math books. That's right, you can use these really cheap math books to get a lot better at mathematics and change your thinking patterns. It's because the more math you do, the smarter you get. You just become better. I remember when I was in graduate school, I ran into this administrator who I knew and she looked at me and my friend and she said, wow, you guys look smarter. And it had only been two weeks. We had only been in graduate school for two weeks, but it felt like an eternity because we had done math every single day. And that is the point. If you get these books and you do a little bit of math every day, you're going to get a lot better at it. Also, the topics in this video are varied. We're gonna start with algebra and then work our way up through discrete math, calculus, topology, complex variables, and even a little bit of probability. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a book that is not only cheap, but it's free, and you can use it to help you learn these more advanced topics, such as topology. All right, let's go ahead and get started right away. This is a book that is fantastic for beginners. It's widely available, and it's well-made. It's called Everything You Need to Ace Pre-Algebra and Algebra 1 in One Big Fat Notebook. It's published by a company called workman publishing and i know this because i have several of their books and i've noticed that there's a trend in these books they're really good so this book has tons of topics and it's perfect for beginners here it talks a little bit about the book it says this notebook is designed to support you as you work through the major areas of pre-algebra and algebra one consider these the notes taken by the smartest person in your algebra class the one who seems to get everything and who takes clear understandable, accurate notes. And it's just a really nice layout. It goes through everything, everything's highlighted. It's just like a good set of notes. Also at the end of each section, you have exercises. And then when you turn the page, you have the answers right there. So like you don't have to wait or go in the back of the book. It's like right there, you just turn the page and there are the answers. Here's a quick look at the topics. So arithmetic, the number system, ratios, proportions, and percents, exponents and algebraic expressions, linear equations and inequalities, some graphing of linear equations and inequalities, some statistics and probability, functions, polynomial operations, factoring polynomials, radicals, quadratic equations, and then some quadratic functions. So some more advanced algebra topics as well are found in this introductory book. And I'm sorry, I just got to give it away here. Just Oh, smells amazing. And it's not a soft cover. It's not a hard cover. It's kind of like something in between. But this is a good book for people who just don't know any math. So if you're starting from nothing and you want to get better, get this book. It's super affordable, it's super available, and extremely easy to read. This book works great as a supplement or just as a source of practice problems. So if you want to just sit down and start doing mathematics, this is a good book for you especially if your math skills are weak. This one's called Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers, and it's by Chris McMullen. And I have several books by McMullen, but this is one of the ones I wanted to include in this video just for the variety and because I think it'll help solidify your skills. This will help beginners who are trying to get better at mathematics. The book is broken down into just a few chapters, and it covers just a few specific things, as you can see here, but it covers them really, really well. If we look at the actual book, it has like explanations and then more explanations. And then you get to the exercises and there's actually room to actually write in the book. Now notice I have not written in the book, but you can, right? You can write in the book, work out all of these problems and there's just hundreds of problems. Um, Chris included so many problems in, in all of his books. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then in the back of the book, in the back of the book, Chris gives us answers to Every single problem, right? That is just completely ridiculous. So this is awesome if you're bad at math. Now, if you're really good at math or if you feel like your algebra skills are pretty solid, then I don't recommend this book. This, this book is, again, for people who are just getting started. And as you can see, the exercises here are quite simple. So if you feel like you're above this, it's okay. Keep watching because we're going to look at some more advanced mathematics coming up soon. And now we have calculus. This is Essential Calculus Skills Practice Workbook with Full solutions by Chris McMullen. So by full solutions, Chris really means full solutions. So the answers, let's just start with that so you can see. He has full solutions in the back of the book. 
I want to mention that these solutions are not like solutions in other books. So if you pick up like, let's say, Stewart's Calculus book or Larson's Calculus book, and you buy the student solutions manual, and you look at the solutions in the solutions manual, you're going to find that it's nowhere near as good as Chris's solutions. Chris has better solutions. His solutions remind me of YouTube videos. In a video, you take your time and you try to explain things, you know, the best you can. Well, I feel like Chris has done the same thing here with his solutions. He's taken his time and he's tried to explain things, you know, the best he can. I mean, look at look at the level of detail here. Look at this. He's using two brackets for the definite integral. I love that. Not just one, not just one line, but he's using both brackets just for added clarity. Look at that. No steps are skipped. So if you're a person that needs to see these little steps or you're a person that just needs to review your calculus, this is a great book to review calculus. Also, also, before we jump to the next book, let me just emphasize the topics in this book. So this book covers all kinds of topics. All this is Calc 1 stuff. Okay, Calc 1, Calc 1, Calc 1, Calc 1, Calc 1, Calc 1. Calc 2, chapter 14 is Calc 2, Calc 2, Calc 3. So in theory, this actually contains content from Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3. But it's mostly uh, a Calc 1 a Calc 1 workbook, but I do like that Chris included some topics from Calc 2 and Calc 3 as well. Discrete mathematics. This is often one of the most feared courses for computer science majors because it's one of the few math classes they have to take besides calculus, and it's a tough one. Most math majors don't actually have to study discrete math, but this is a wonderful book written by a great mathematician, V.L. Balakrishnan. This book is for beginners, but it's got some advanced stuff. I remember sitting at a mechanic shop reading this book, and I was reading a proof by Paul Erdosh. There's a, there's a proof in here by Erdosh that I was reading, and I thought, wow, wow, Erdosh was a brilliant man. And you get that from this book. This is a Dover book, by the way. So Dover is a company that takes really old math books and reprints them and sells them at really affordable prices. So I thought, oh, for this video, let me take some of my Dover books because they're awesome, they're well-made and they're classics. This book has everything you need for discrete mathematics. So if you are gonna take discrete math in college, it'll work as a great supplement. Or if you're trying to use it for self-study, it's gonna be pretty good. Now the truth is discrete math is pretty hard. And so it's gonna take a lot of effort. And I mean, it would be, it would be a lie to say that you could just buy this book and read it and learn everything. That's not true, it's not how it works. But what you can do is you can buy this book you can sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil and you can try and anything you learn is good. That, that's how you should view it. Any knowledge you can get from this book is worth it. Let's look at the answers, page 224. That's gonna be back over here, there's the bibliography. And you can see he has answers to some of the exercises, not all. And I really wish he had all of them. You know, I've done a lot of the exercises from this book. So I've looked in the back of the book to check my answers and. Um, you can see it's pretty much mostly the odd ones. I don't see any even ones there, but wonderful book um, for discrete math, inexpensive and affordable. I think it definitely belongs in everyone's mathematical library. Probability is often a subject that is overlooked. And I think it's because, you know, you can get a degree in statistics or you can get a degree in math. And typically in statistics, that's where you see probability. However, this is a book that is entirely devoted to probability. It's called Introduction to Probability, and it's by John E. Frund. And I wanted to show it to you because there's not that many math books that are completely devoted to probability. I mean, there are a lot, but there's certainly more algebra books than there are probability books, for example. Here you can get a look at some of the topics. And again, this is a Dover book, so it's a reprint of the older book. Here's the copyright. 73 is the original copyright by John E. Frund. So probabilities, expectations. So it's just a solid book on probability theory. And it does have answers to the odd numbered exercises in the back of the book. So it makes a pretty good choice uh, for self-study. It reads really well and it's gonna give you a different perspective. So yeah, definitely will change your thinking. Even if you sit down and you spend 30 minutes a day with this book, it's going to change your perspective on everything. This is one of the oldest math books I own in the sense that I've owned this longer than a lot of my other math books. So it's one of the first math books I bought as a collector of math books. 
It's called Applied Complex Variables, and it's by John W. Detman. The only thing I don't like about this book is that it's so thick. So sometimes it doesn't lay flat, although it's proving me wrong right here. <laughs> so in order to learn complex variables, you're going to need to know some calculus. So as long as you know calculus, uh, you can jump into this. But it does help to have some experience uh, writing proofs. But basically, all the stuff you see... Oh, there you see it. See, it's closing. All the stuff you see in calculus, you kind of see again here, but you see it with complex valued functions. A lot of the rules that you learn in calculus, like the stuff from infinite series, uh, the rules for differentiation, some of the rules for limits, those things translate in a very natural way to the complex case. And sometimes there are some differences, but this is an affordable book on complex variables. And I think it's worth it if you want to see what the subject is about. Topology is a really beautiful subject. Unfortunately, it has a very high barrier for entry. In order to teach yourself topology, you really have to know how to write proofs and you have to know how to write them really well. And I'm gonna show you a free book in a minute that you can use to learn to write proofs that will help you get started with this book. Because you could buy this book, it's super affordable, it has full solutions, okay? Let me show you this, this is awesome. It has full solutions in the back of the book, right? Look at that, full worked out proofs. Uh, sometimes there's a hint, but most of the time, it's pretty thorough to every single exercise in the book, not just, not just the odds, not just some of them, but every single problem. I don't have any other topology book that's like this. I have some that are more expensive, like the one by Monkreese, and that has no solutions. This one is super cheap and it's got full solutions and it gives an excellent treatment. That doesn't mean it's an easy book though. Again, you're gonna wanna have really, really strong proof writing skills before jumping into um, a book on topology. Here it actually defines a topology, um, which let's just look at it really quickly. Let X be a set, a family, I think it's tau of subsets of X is a topology for X if tau has the following. Both X and the empty set belong to tau. Any union of sets in tau belongs to tau. And any finite intersection of sets in tau belongs to tau. So the elements of tau are called open sets. And so basically this is saying that the entire space and the empty set are open. Any union of open sets is open. And any finite intersection of open sets is also open. If you have those three conditions, then you have uh, what's called a topology on X. So pretty cool. And then you can study all kinds of different topological spaces. There's strange ones. Those are called pathological spaces. And yeah, your proof writing skills have to be good though, right? That's the biggest challenge. All right, let me show you that free book, which I was talking about at the beginning of the video. So here is the free book. You might be wondering, how is it free if you actually have it in your hands? Well, you can buy it. I actually chose to actually buy this book after reading it uh, and, and working through it. So you can download this book from the internet, just Google Book of Proof, and it's free, but you can buy a copy as well. And I'll leave links in the description to all of these books in case you uh, want, to, want to check it out. But worth buying, worth having a physical copy, this book will teach you how to write proofs, right? It'll prepare you for topology, for complex variables, for advanced calculus. Um, you're gonna get better at mathematics with a book like this. This will really transform your brain. Learning to write proofs, is huge, right? It's huge, huge, huge. Let's take a look here at the content so you can see what it contains. We've got sets, logic, counting, direct proof. It's got really clean proofs too. Contrapositive proof, proof by contradiction. You learn all of these proof strategies, right? More on proof. It's an entire book dedicated to proofs, right? And hence the name, Book of Proof. Oh, this stuff is really important. And then look, solutions, let's, let's jump there, page 240. So here we have solutions, right? We have answers in the back of the book. Quite a few, right? Look at that, full solutions. Looks like the odd ones are worked out. Quite a few, right? Lots of mathematics here. Beautiful book for learning mathematics and getting better at mathematics. This will open the doors for you, right? If this, out of all of the books I'm showing you today, this is probably the most useful one. One, because it's free, so anyone in the world can access it. So if you live in a country where you can't get this shipped, or maybe you just don't have the money because you're poor or whatever, right? You can download it for free. As long as you have an internet connection, 
you can access this book in PDF form. So thank you, Mr. Hammock, uh, for making this wonderful book available to everyone in the world. Remember, the key is to actually do a little bit of math every day. So if you do buy one of these books, make sure to at least try to do math every day. Just sit down with the book, grab a pencil and a piece of paper and tell yourself, hey, I'm gonna do 10 minutes of mathematics today and that's what I'm gonna do. And more likely than not, you're gonna find yourself doing more than 10 minutes of math. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. Also, I have courses, actual math courses you can take and buy. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses, but if you get them, please use the links from my website mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com or from the description of any of my videos. Also, I have another YouTube channel. It's called The Internet Sorcerer where I post all kinds of random content. Subscribe if you want to. The most important thing you should take away from this video is that if you do math every day, you can transform your brain. You can get smarter. You can get better. You can improve your clarity of thought. And these books are awesome. And if you have to buy one book, oh, I, I can't pick. I really think Book of Proof, the free one, <laughs> so the free book is probably going to give you like the most value. I think more people will benefit from this free book than any other book here. I do recommend buying it though. It helps Richard Hammock. It helps me. And it's better to have a physical copy. So I'll leave a link in the description. As far as the best book here, in my opinion, it's this one here. I think this is the winner. Uh, Introduction to Topology out of all of these books. This is my favorite. I'm getting goosebumps. I absolutely love this book. These people are geniuses. It's a wonderful book and it has full solutions, which is unheard of. It's unheard of. I have tons of topology books. I have so many math books. I'm a huge collector of math books and this is the only one I have that has all the answers. Okay, enough about how great that book is. Keep doing mathematics.